first NBA sneaker is probably the, uh, gosh, now I'm thinking about it. Probably some Penny Hardaways. Yeah. Yeah, one of the early pairs of those. If I had a shoe, it definitely would be a low top. Um, I, I like like very sleek, clean looking angles. I don't like things being bulky and kind of wide. I like things to be kind of skinny, kind of like Kobe's kind of look. You know, they're very, they fit your feet well. You know, they're very, um, or like some Jordan 1s or something like that. You know, just like, just seamless and, um, you know, not too much going on, but enough, you know? So colors would be probably whatever team color, you know, I'm with, but. Um, each year is different for the game worn shoes, but my favorite sneaker um, is probably like Jordan 11s. I just really like them for some reason. They're my favorite one to wear anytime. So my favorite bucket is probably the floater. That's my, yeah, I love it, yeah. Um, favorite player to watch, uh, it's probably between probably like Paul George or um, Kyrie, Kyrie Irving. Probably, I'll probably say Kyrie even first because he's it's fun to watch like poetry in motion when he plays. If I could pick one teammate, um, it would probably be, uh, I guess, Hakeem Olajuwon. Yeah, I, uh, game day I do have a routine. I eat the same like red pasta with chicken, um, red sauce with chicken, and same thing. Every, I mean, it's literally the same order. Every, everywhere I go has to be the same thing. And I add a little bit of crushed red pepper on top and some Parmesan cheese, and I'm good to go. Yeah, there's a, actually a bunch of guys that I kind of emulated at you know my game after. I, one of my favorite players was Isaiah Thomas when I was younger. And, um, and then as I got older, it became like Tony Parker, um, guys like that, Steve Nash, like the smallerish guards, but um, had the skill sets to score at you know all levels and you know use their you know not let their height be a disadvantage in a sense. So uh, really liked uh, all their games. Well, um, probably the one thing that I've noticed the most, obviously, is probably no, not that noticeable for everybody else, but the lakes and just being you know the life that you can live out there just being on a boat or uh, there's nice little beaches where kids get to play a lot of places where you just eat eat out and have the water in your background and like there's something about that that's uh, you know just common and you know just really good place to be so I'm really enjoying that aspect of, of life and obviously being in a city like this you got a bunch of other sports teams and just being able to go to Vikings games and like Twins games and WNBA games, like that's that's pretty cool to do. And hockey games, when that starts up, that'll be fun. My favorite NBA city is probably, I like Phoenix a lot. Uh, Phoenix is really nice. Uh, LA, obviously, um, one of the bigger cities. Um, probably Miami, with warm weather. Um, best vibes is probably probably Anthony Edwards. His his vibe is super infectious, you know, just spews out. So, well, I am pretty low maintenance, but uh, low maintenance, probably Jordan uh, McLaughlin. I would say he's, you don't really have nothing going on with him. I want to say Ant, but I think Carl could do it. I think Carl could be that guy. I think Ant needs to be the lead. He needs to be the lead guy, not the, not the side, you know, not the sidekick. So I think Carl could be that guy.